Hi, hi, planners. How are you guys? I hope you all are having a great week. Let me make sure my volume is up. Yes, volume is perfectly up. Right. So, you know, we have been having our uh, money talks every Wednesday. And we are continuing our last um, money talk on exercise and success. But today we are not talking to no... no um, trainers today no today we are talking to an entrepreneur who her main concern is about the protecting of the girls for us ladies yes protecting the girls because you know when you start to exercise the next important thing you have to do is to have proper attire when you're exercising yes because you don't want when you're going to exercise the girls are outside yes you know ladies you know what i'm talking about so we want to make sure we have the proper undergarments wearing especially when we're going to do all those running and jumping and all these things so today we are going to have a lovely entrepreneur her name is Ashel Waddell she is um, the owner of Brazinga which is located in I'm trying to remember the name of the street but it's in St. James Brains cannot remember the name of the street so yes and she's on already yes super excited all right, so let me guess her up so we can have fun on this live. Can we? Can we get excitement? Yes, we are all about ensuring that the girls get proper support because we know we want to exercise. We want to get that exercise in, reduce the stress, and but also we want to look good. Yes, we want to look good, but we want to make sure we have properly wearing the right clothes on the right undergarments on to make sure when we're doing our exercise we are not putting no strain on the girls yes main important part the girls <laughs> all right we are waiting on her to get connected so by in the meantime when we wait on her to get connected you all don't forget to share this content because it's variable content for everyone can use oh i look miss boobs is here good i love the girls i love the girls <laughs> When you have pants, you think you're not too sure how to use it. <laughs> I love the curtain. Oh, gosh, Roy. Look, you see, you all see all the boobs? Yes, all the boobs. She have all the girls outside. Oh, my gosh, all the girls are outside. <laughs> 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 let me make sure. Yes, you all don't forget to make sure and share to other people. Let them know. Let them be aware of all the great juices that are coming out here guys y'all can still get on as well so y'all can learn something for your lady oh, it's not people like when our men buy us something in the right size yes yes no yes so you... the power of getting it in the right size versus getting yes. it wrong make sure and and, and <laughs> jump jump on jump on you got gentlemen because you know we ladies have to look good indeed right so let me introduce the Miss Lovely Ashel. Yes, my girl, my girl. Yes, I think she, she, she knows how to see about the girls. So tell us about you. You started this whole, this whole thing. What was the purpose of well, beginning um, this lovely journey? My journey began with my own issues, with my own boobies. Um, you know how it is? You... Uh, you see them on TV and you're like, damn, I want boobs like that. And then you see them and you're like, okay, I have the boobs. Let me go and shop and get those cute bras. And you go into the bra, you go into any store and you say, oh, you have that in my size. And they, they look at you and they give you the one over and they say, um, no, no. no darling. Yeah. Back go. So you go down the back and they send you in the black beige and boring section. And then you mm -hmm. say, where are the cute bras I was promised? But yeah, for me, that was it. I had a lot of issues with bras, getting nice ones in my size. Even when I went to um, people who supposedly knew what they were doing, um, right. I never felt comfortable in them. It was always an issue uh, with everything, exercising, clothes, going to the office. I remember having guys in the office making comments about my boobs, you know, and it's like, hi. <laughs> And I started to genuinely started to think I was a fat cow and hated my body, starting with my boobs. Right, the girls, um, always the girls. 
it's always, always a really good good. As, as we're for skinny people um and different fashions and everything wasn't meant for me because you know i'm a fat cow so correct correct I'm not realizing i have your own wrong on the garments on right when, um for a couple of years and my friend introduced me to a store first day and said hey let's go for a fitting and i went and i got fitted and i swear to you it was like a movie clouds parted the sun came through um <laughs> I to sing. I was like, oh! it was beautiful for the first time in my life i got into the right size bra and I, it just changed my life from there i was mm-hmm. loving myself <laughs> there was nothing i couldn't do <laughs> and I, it just opened up a whole new world to me. And when I came back home, I realized that, wait, no, I'm seeing some very sad movies in this country. They need <laughs> some help. Plus, I couldn't get love. down here, which sucks. So uh, that was my main inspiration, that I knew how I felt. So I said, you know what? There are other people out there who are having the same issues. Let me see how I can help them too. So Correct. Correct. And then when I have customers come in and they tell me, oh, you know, I, I, I hate how my bra fits. And um, I was told I was a 38 triple D. And then when I do a fitting with them, they're actually something like a, a 32 or a 34 F or G. Right. And they're, they're traumatized because they're thinking, a oh, what now? <laughs> because we're programmed to believe that boobs come in A, B, C and a variation. And D, right? Yeah. You love that? You're a freak of nature, right? Yeah. I mean, how many people think oh, no. is like, I don't know, a 40 triple D or something like that. And this time she has a teeny tiny frame and boobs at the feet to big though. Correct, correct. But they don't tell you all of that. They just put you in stuff to you know, they make, they make a bra, your boobs fit a bra. Let's put it that way. So they put the kind of long right. But when I have a customer come in here and they put them in the right size, the first thing you could tell when they start to love themselves is that they're like, oh, oh it's okay. yes. Oh. <laughs> I remember my experience with you with us. It's like, what happened to you? Are you feeling cold? What's going on? Like, oh, oh, hi. I I will testify to that. I did do that the first time when she put me. Yes, I was like, oh my gosh, my kids are so nice. (laughs) I mean, my different That is true. You'll really feel a big difference. You'll actually see, oh my goodness. So she can look like this. Okay, all right. From here, let's move. <laughs> it's really true. It is really true. <laughs> is. Let's talk about sports, bro, because we know we have been talking about exercise. And I, and I know you start to bring in all the correct ways and the right things to wear for the, the books and the X, because we don't want no, no girls outside flapping us nowhere, right? Oh, my God. It's like an accident waiting to happen. You see it, too. <laughs> It's an accident wait. That's like whiplash or something is gonna go on there because it's gonna come up and hit somebody. I'm <laughs> sure. Whether we whether we running, whether we swimming, we don't want no accidents. We want to make sure we get you right, bra to put the gills in. So tell us about that. Okay, hands up. How many women in this chat have worn what you thought was your best bra, a generic strapless bra, a baby tee? nice and tight to pull, hold you in, and then a t-shirt when they're exercising. <laughs> Me! <laughs> and, you, and you, then you go and you do that, and you're still conscious, and you're still kind of walking around like you're holding them in, and you're kind of, can't do too much because I don't want them to think. And then you take off that layer contraption that you have on, and you get the pins and needles, or the sharp pain. And that's True. because you're not wearing the right thing. You're not getting some support. Your boobs are doing this and bouncing up and down with you not even going full impact. And that's not right. We shouldn't have boobs stop us from doing what we want to do. Um, true, true. And we should to play hard just like anybody else, right? They shouldn't stop Correct. us. Correct. And then people don't know. They have bras, sports bras. Look, look people are waving up their hands. Hand time. <laughs> Two hands. <laughs> Yeah, so let me show you a couple that I have, right? This is a brand called Panache. Panache is like... Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes, we love that. We love that brand. Play. They come in wired and underwired bras, sports bras. They're to your bra size. Look, I mean, I you can't even see how awesome they are, really. And this is just a regular black one, right? And what makes them really awesome is they have this little... Oops. This little yes. thing called a That's jig. That magic look nice. Because it looks like a jig. And you connect it to the back hook, 
And then boom, it's a tea bag for extra support. Mm -hmm. But these come in your bra size, not generic, small, medium, large. Correct. And these reduce movement bumps by up to 75%. And that's what we want. Exactly. We want people, don't, people don't realize that jumping up and down, that sudden movement, in addition to discomfort, you feel with your pins and needles and your sharp pains. Breasts are not anything more than fat and ligaments. They right. They help thin thing, skin and your copper's ligament. Mm -hmm. When your copper's ligament jump up and down from you doing whatever, it doesn't come back. It remains, when it stretches out, it does not, there's no way to bring it back. So you just creating a monster right there. That's not cool. So you yeah, need to have a All right, so I think because you're just promoting sagging. And <laughs> no, you don't want that. Sagging, right? And then you're thinking, oh, okay, so okay, I get it in the size and it's all boring colors. No! Then she have fun colors. You <laughs> colors. have sports vest, which people think of swimsuits. So it's a built-in sports bra here. Oh, are you, are you? Made by the same people. Same to a tea bag. And again, they come in wire free and under wire. Mm -mm. So, oh, nuts. I mean, hello. Thing for you to go next. You're not going to find any, you know, range of triple Ds. This is a 34J, for instance. This is for hmm. a girl who has boobage, but it's small and, you know, needs support. Look, you can have this one. Look at the color. <laughs> Yes, we don't love colors, right? We need to go running and not even have an issue with that. You know? Cute. You know we love colors. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, who knew, but they have awards for lingerie, and this brand, Panache Sports, has won awards consistently for their sports bras. Okay. I mean, they have other brands that are good as well. Um, they have ones that specialize in wire free because not that wires isn't for everybody. Um, Correct, yes. So we don't want to be us. But you, you know when you get that sun, uh, you want to feel that chuck, right? No, that chuck is like, no. That's it's like punishment for something you did in your previous life, which we don't even know. <laughs> we try to avoid at all costs. True, true. <laughs> I might have to plug it in just now, but that's fine. Um, and then I also have, because I thought, hey, sports bras might as well do some tight, right? So I have oh, no right. but I have tight. And the thing is with my tights, um, just like my bras that I have here, I do it mm -hmm. in such a way that I, I only bring in stuff that I would wear. So with these, all the tights that I bring in, you never have to worry about the um, invisible panty, the visible invisible panty. So I always tell customers, when you're buying tights, bend over in the mirror and look at yourself. Pretend like you're getting a picture from Carnival or something. But you want to make sure that nobody not me Savannah or you're not in the gym feeling good doing squats and then somebody's like hey nice bloomers nobody needs to see what you're wearing well unless you want correct 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 <laughs> correct so that's sports bras and so and I have some more leggings coming in some funky colors some funky patterns because again, yes I mean we like funky black. yeah we don't like boring black and gray mm, we like funky colors the basics I have are not basic they're kind of cute no. I could testify to that. Yeah, I have an orange one. Just give me one. Just give me one second. I just need to plug in. No problem. So y'all are enjoying the lovely live so far. Y'all don't forget to put your questions. Any questions y'all may have, drop it in, drop it in, drop it in. Drop in all the juicy questions. Bring it in Carl in the mix. Oh, yes, yes, bringing Carla, yes, and she names all her uh -huh. um, mannequins. Uh, all her mannequins have names, yeah? She calls them by their name. As, as she just said, that's Carla there. Yeah? She's bringing in Carla. Carla <laughs> freaks people out because she has no face, but I tell them she's shy. <laughs> and has a lot of hair. Ready? Right. So the next most important questions about these lovely sports bras. How do we take care of it to make sure it lasts a little longer? Because you know when you're sweating and all the sweat stain on, how are we really maintaining that 
key. Well, with sports bras in particular, you want to wash them after every use because you don't want that sweat. When you're sweating, you have that bacteria and everything is going to stay on it. So you always want to wash them after every use. To avoid, um, to, if, to, oh my, <laughs> to avoid, um, you know, sometimes if you, you might get a little stink on them, a little smell. Mm -hmm. Take and so then you wash. But always, right. always, always hand wash them. And I'm right. out there being like, hell no. But seriously, when you wash, when you have, think of it. How many times have you washed something in the laundry and then you take it out and it's all spiraled all together? And it's because the hook of the bra has hooked into something else and everything has yeah. twisted the laundry. When that huh. happens, not only is it stretching out your bra or your sports bra, it's, it could also change your position of the underwire. And when this underwire mm -hmm. changes position, even my, uh, it goes from best friend to mortal enemy. You know? Correct. 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 It's Correct. Really too, because I understand because, you know, everybody has time to do all like hand wash stuff or want to. Let's face that fact. You use, drum roll please. <laughs> the best thing you could ever ask for. <laughs> A laundry bag. Best thing ever, ever. Because Drop it. And stuff. <clears throat> you put them in the laundry bag. You always want to make sure the zip goes under the elastic and onto the side. If it remains here, it's most likely going to come and find it's open. And all the contents in or out. And, you know, and then the whole thing will just be moved. But never, never, never put your laundry bag or your undies, sports bras, panties, regular bras, anything in the dryer. The heat from the dryer makes the elastic snap, shortens the life of your bra, which means mm -hmm. I'd be seeing you more than often than I need to. So put on the dryer. And you know you might like nothing else better. Come, come, come to the store. Come, you need a new one. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know how these things are made from China? Bring it. No, don't put it in. Seriously, it will shorten the life of your bra. And then you'll be like, oh, I bought this too, bra. Uh, no, just don't put it in the dryer. Good, 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 good stuff, good stuff. So I hope you all are enjoying all these good stuff, eh? No. We, 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 we opened the heavens earlier, so let's open the heavens further. Show us or give us a slight demonstration of how you're supposed to measure to get the right bra, especially for the, well, it will work for both ways, but it is regular bra or the sports bra, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. So what I like to do personally is put um, fit to everybody for a sports bra first. I mean, a regular bra, sorry, first. Correct. And then we'll go into the sports bra now because sports bras have a slightly different fit. Um, but I just like to know your general size. So there are a few key things you have to look for. Fortunately, Carl is not dressed. But um, for for that, I didn't I didn't think of that even though we did discuss this beforehand. Um, <laughs> Okay, so everybody knows that they would <laughs> make you measure your smallest bits, right? Which right. is not fair. So if you do this like this and you get a measurement, you're like, okay, that is it. But that's not it because this isn't where your bra is supposed to hit. Your bra is right. in the breast tissue ends and you're recovering. So generally, you want to lift the boobies up and get right under here to at your smallest right. bit. That measurement gives you your band size. Your band size usually runs always runs in um, even numbers. So if you mm -hmm. measure a 33, that means you're either going to be wearing a 32 or a 34. But right. uh, yeah. if you... Yeah, I just realized I'm going to get too technical if I go into that. Um, That's all right. We, okay. we're supposed to so be in in between a 33 and a 34. It's um, a 32 band. If, yeah, if you measure, what did I just say? Okay. If you measure, if you measure thirty three, you could either take a two or thirty four. You could wear a thirty two or a thirty four. Right. A thirty two is an inch smaller than you, brand spanking Correct. you, and a thirty two is an inch bigger than you, brand spanking you. So it right. not for everybody, but it may affect how it sits on you, because oh. um, a lot of people don't know because we have been told the opposite for years. You, the set, the um, source of your support and lift in your bra it comes from your band, not your straps. Your straps are secondary. Okay. Any bra okay. that you are wearing, you should be able to slide off your straps and feel like if the band is staying up. If the okay. band is not staying up and sliding mm -hmm. down, it's right. Then it's wrong. Too big. Yeah. 
So perfect question. You know, like sometimes when you don't, don't laugh at me. You know, when you when, after learning so much from you now, when you go out now, you be more conscious of watching other ladies and how they brush up, looking it back. So, like for instance, you will see some ladies be brush up higher. You know, like how oh, your buff number them it must be low. Mm. So in those instances when the brush up is really like so almost like the, the, the wing, right? Mm -hmm. How is that affecting in terms of their their support, their back? Because I am seeing a whole set of problems happening one after the other with that brush up band quite that high up on your back. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Where to begin? Okay. <laughs> First of all, that's a sign that your band is way too big for you, right? Right. Um, and you would want to be like, but why? And that's because your band, your okay, your breast, and the bigger your breast are, the heavier they would be, right? So mm -hmm. trick, wearing a bra that's too big for you, the band is too big for you, not even talking about the cups yet. Okay. So you put on this bra and you find your boobs are looking like they need some Prozac. So you want to get them up. So you automatically tighten your straps because you've been told all your life you want to right. tighten your straps and to bring it up. So you tighten your straps to pull it up. And when you pull it up, the weight of your boobs pulls it back down. So you jack them up again. And then eventually, because your back is too big, the back of your bra, the band, starts to rise up. So it rises up because there's nothing stopping it because it's too big. So then you end up with this tea back on the really high up your bra band on <laughs> like you to. The back and not realizing you have on the wrong size bra so in the back the only thing that stops the band from going higher and coming becoming a headband is mm -hmm. your skin so that's where you get the back fat fat because your skin oh. is stopped. so then you get the nice little bulges that everybody loves back <laughs> Right? Oh, okay, you see, we we learning all we learning things. We learning things. <laughs> yeah, who knew a, a big band will cause a back fat? But it does because it's not ripping off no. anything else but you, and it's just going against your skin, and will just stop right where the skin stops it, giving you those lovely, lovely looks. Addition. So that would be would that be the same reason that will occur like when you get the underarm, the underarm extra fat too. Oh, that's called auxiliary breast tissue. Um, <laughs> that could be a couple. Of, well, sometimes it's auxiliary breast tissue, which is a jet, which is very common. A lot of people have it, and sometimes mm -hmm. it just could be that you're not in your bra properly because a lot of people don't oh. put breast tissue in. You must yes, always. I know you teach me that. that so yes. Your, bra, your breast starts under your arm. Go into your cup and pull it in because you yes, want the bone of that. your bra to fall on your rib cage. It should not rest on any breast tissue at all. Correct, correct. Yes, she, so she did teach me that. Yes, she taught me that. She always said, pull it around. It's like, okay, okay. And what do I say? Do you mind if I go in? <laughs> she just bought me up. Pull it around. And that's what you're over there. Like, you're like, you're not <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would say she has taught me a lot, especially when I go inside and I'm getting a brush. Like, I didn't know that. They never taught us that. And it's true, it's, this is, these are important things that, I mean, I'm, maybe in your grandparents and maybe your, your mother time, they would um, not know these things. They just know they wear a bra, just go measure it and put it on and go away with your bra on. Let's go. <laughs> right? <laughs> there was um, no way of all these important tips. Exactly. And another thing too, when you um jacking up your straps to lift your boobs up, when your straps are too tight, for too long, yes. the tiss will need to hurt your shoulder and cause you some pain there. But oh, right. if you you on your shoulder, moves to accommodate these straps. It moves, it parts like the ocean, like the Red Sea. Is it the Red Sea? Look at me. Come yes, it's the Red Sea. True. And it's true because <laughs> you yeah. do eventually, literally, I remember that happening to me, especially when I was breastfeeding. I remember you used to actually have a sink. I was like, well, where am I getting this thing from? And the yeah. brush up is fit right in that spot. That is true. That sink happens. I have customers who have like a very defined sink, like a good inch sink. And when that sink happens, you just have, uh, the only, there's no coming back from that unless you go to, um, I guess, surgery to sort that out. And that's because of the pressure from your straps. And it's not supposed to be like that. Because again, you're. <laughs> Do you also have um 
bras for breastfeeding mums? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> you see? see, I ask some questions. I ask some questions for you. Because you know mummies have to ask all these questions, right? <laughs> you should have, you should have, and that is even more important now, especially when you start to breastfeed, having the proper bra on to breastfeed. And now that we have the um, baby boom, the pending baby boom, and um, the COVID boom. <laughs> <laughs> Niceness. Niceness. So expect the moms, you know, where to go get your bras. Check her out. Check her out. She, she always have all kind of lovely stuff. Let's talk about the new wear since the pandemic. Ooh, the pandemic. The yes, let's talk about the pajamas wear. Let's yeah. see about the pajamas. <laughs> You know, everybody's loving it. Everybody's looking for something. But it doesn't always have to be, you know. Oh, let's look at Carla. Yeah, let's look at Carla. Carla was already. The number that looks like Elma. It must have been inspired by Elma the elephant. Um, the short pants are cute. The straps are adjustable. Um, boots, that's what the other straps are adjustable. And it's a nice cotton material, so it's nice and breathable material, especially for these hot climates. You yeah, know. Um, you can lounge around the house in this. You can wear this top with some pants and go to the grocery. Or you can do my favorite, put a sweater over it or a blazer and have a Zoom meeting. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. Who's going to know? Except us. Except us. Um... So we have the long, we have the short pants, we have the long right. feet as well. Very cute colors and stuff. We have the dresses. Oh, the oh, oh, it's it's happening. Short pants set. Okay. And it has the, they call it the lettuce trim at the bottom. <laughs> Feminine and cute. And this is a really nice material. Just when I want to make a cushion out of it and cuddle it all night long, it's just really nice. <laughs> I, I think you can do that. Out in it, like, um, yeah. I just thought it was a cute dress and went out in it. So you see, options. I mean, nobody's going to know. Who's going to judge you in these times of COVID? Nobody was going to know. They're not going to know. Right, here's another one. Peachy colors. Ooh, spaghetti straps. Nice. Adjustable spaghetti straps. Nice Very nice. Um, cute. And one that I bought for myself because I'm silly and I'm all about the boobs. <laughs> Yes, I mean, no, you know, oh my goodness, all about the boobs. Mm -mm -mm. It's, up, it's cute. It's had, that is you. That is you. Ooh. Yes, perfect. That is you. I can see you wearing that. That is you. That is you, Ashen for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all her. That's I'm all not, her. Not consistent, right? <laughs> you have to stay with your brand. Your brand is all about boobs. Exactly. The resident twenty four seven. Means magic is happening. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. You see, I look everybody loving it, and they're laughing at us. Even a lovely gentleman is in, and he's actually giving he, you. He's a smart man because yeah, he, he, he knows Christmas is a coming. And yes, we have to make sure the man that knows what to buy. That is what you'll be talking. That's what his significant other will be talking about at the water cooler. Did you see what my guy got me? And it's <laughs> not feeling like a porn star and crack. I feel nice. He gets me. <laughs> That's what you want, boys. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about, do you have any, laun any sexy laundry? I do. Um... We have, we carry a, a line called um, Scantilly. So mm -hmm. they, that's from Curvy Kate. So they have a range of very sexy, cute stuff. Two of your cup bra size again. And it's not just a typical baby doll. They have the baby doll options, but they also have the, um, the you know, the dominatrix strapping stuff, mm -hmm. zips and everything. Like, psh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry. Oh, she's naughty. She's naughty. You all forgive her. You all forgive, but she gets enough love. So they love loving you. <laughs> um, I mean, it's That's boobs, good. right? Every other person has them. They get us into Correct. party sometimes. They get a free drink. If the plane is going down or if there's an emergency, we get our first because of boobs. Women and children, yeah? 
boobs. It true. Makes <laughs> it's true. You gotta love the boobs. True. You have to treat the girls good. Always, always, always. The boobs. If you have them, you might as well keep them nice. True. True. Very much. You must always treat them good. Make sure they are well secured, properly maintained. But it can go better than that. And we, and we actually, um, they help the nation. You grow up with children, right? Nation. You we feed it to more than one. Did you see the sign? Is it back to front or is it? It looks back to front to me. Is it read right for you? Prove that men can focus on two things at once? Yes, yes, yes. I know. It's back to front to me when I'm watching it, but I'm seeing the word boobs on you, but I just can't see you. Okay. <laughs> right. See, Anthony gets it. He's yes, he does. Fun. You know, he, he gets it. He understands. He understands. Yeah. And those are the ones that they want to make sure understand it, right? Okay, you totally broke it. I didn't get you. Yes, I said those are the ones we want to make sure understand. The gentleman since the sign is for them. I know it's a very scary area for guys. They walk in and they're like, oh my God, frozen panties. But you know what? When you come by me, I keep all your, I keep everybody's information on file. So you want to buy something for them. I know what they like and what size they're wearing. So you never lose. Okay. Okay. Oh, I said, what about the underwears? We didn't talk about unders. You only talk for the girls. So, underwears. I have a whole bunch. I have mainly, um, right, sorry, distracted by somebody by the window. Um, yeah, we have all styles. We have for, as we know, everybody has different comfort levels, um, and everybody likes different styles for whatever reasons. So, we have everything. We have the high waist, high cut panties. Mm hmm. See, we have them in black and beige and white, but we also have it in this. Funky colors. <laughs> we have the high waist, high cut panties. Mm -hmm. We have the hipster bikini panties. Mm -hmm. You have the boy shorts, which, fun fact, boy shorts are the female equivalent of boxer shorts. Correct, correct. Cuter. True that, true that. <laughs> right, and this is just a bikini cut one, which I should not have brought a black because I realize you're not really seeing it. Correct. And then, because you know you have everything else, you might as well have the strapless panty. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> all the panties we have are, are cotton or cotton blend, and they all have cotton liners. Even this one, and this is reusable. And comes in different shades and goes from extra small to extra large. So yay. If you don't want panty lines, or you're wearing one of those outfits that you know have a high slit or mesh on the mm -hmm. side and stop and stop up. Yes, we, we know we know you will say something like that. What about um um tips for the boob, for the girls? Do you? I don't have any right now, but yeah, fashion tip. Like if you're wearing anything and like plunge and you just wanted to uh, make sure that you're not showing your bra because everybody's not like me. I don't care. My bras are cute. If you see them, lucky you. Um, but yeah, some outfits you want to have them. You want to have your clothes taped down a little bit so you're not going to expose too much. Um, we don't have any in stock right now, but yeah, there is fashion tape that you could use. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we only again thumbs up and real love, boy. With oh. Oops, <laughs> anyone have any questions you could ask about them? Oh, let us tell them where the store is. Oh, do you do house? Do you do house calls by chance? If someone calls you to come home by them to do a measurement and run through options, um, I, I do. I haven't done one for a while. I could mm -hmm. do one, but I prefer people come here because I have the full kit and caboodle here. Versus okay. if I come to your house, you tell me, I will ask you your size. And then based on what size you tell me, I make a gift. 
And I have done Sorry. that been completely wrong because the size the person was wearing and the size they actually should be wearing was so completely different. Okay, okay, okay. So I okay. prefer that you come in yeah, store. Okay, and, and, right. and so yeah, because I have everything here. Right, right. So, so tell them where but, the store is. Right, the store we're located at uh, on Lucknow Street in St. James, opposite the police barracks, um, number two, actually. Um, yeah. I have a it's opposite Hyderabad Street. Um, I, have, I have parking on the property. And I have my cute little store. Let me see. Oh. Oh, well, I can't get it. Yeah, so you can just, like... My cute little stool, my bedroom motif, my Christmas tree with the bras on it, the classy from hair. Yeah. Carla doing her thing. And of course, the curtains. Yes, we, we, we can't miss the curtain. That, that's the statement, you know, of the entire, of the entire story, yeah, I should say. That's the signature. But getting back to the um, fittings, another thing too, you must always make sure that your um, the center of your bra, which is called, let me actually get one. Okay, yes. So the center of your bra here is mm -hmm. called this part you should also be flat on your chest. Um, <laughs> this should also be flat on your chest, right? Mm -hmm. All the hours. Um, open Wednesday to Friday, 10 to 5.30, and Saturdays, 10.30 to 4 p.m. On Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays, I do appointment only. Yeah. So, the girl should always be flat against your chest. A lot of people think um, a lot of people think that boobs um, should be kissing, like the uni boobs. But that's not, that is not cleavage. If you look up cleavage, cleavage is defined as a space between. So you need to have this flat on your chest, on your rib cage, and your boobs separated. Right? When this is flat on your chest, that's a sign that you're wearing the right size band. And you're going to get that support and lift that you want. That is how I and many other women can wear a strapless bra and not worry about it. Yes, after they do the strapless steps. <laughs> You'll have to watch a video. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good step. <laughs> All my customers, when you're buying a strapless bra, do two things before you go to that counter with that bra. When you have it on, take, make sure the straps are off. Take one jump. A jump, like if you're in a fat jump, if the bra band slips at all, you don't want that. That's not for you. Because if it slips after one jump, what's going to happen when you're actually moving about doing stuff in the bra, right? As well mm -hmm. as um, pretend like your phone just fell in water and bend down quickly and pick it back up. The reason for that is you want to see if your boobs fall out the cup. Because you want to make sure they always contain no matter what. Right? Mm -hmm. So... Because my strapless bra, I put it on and I take it off. Oh, that sun is coming at a weird angle. I put it on and I take it off. Um, mm -hmm. I never stand up in the middle of a party and adjust and pull up. That doesn't happen for me because I'm wearing the right size band. Okay, okay, okay. And I, I, I never do that much. But next time I will remember. <laughs> that I will have to, right? I just I just Alright, so I want to know what happened. Good. Are you hearing me? I gotta freeze just now. You're gonna freeze? Alright, good. No, I gotta freeze. I gotta pause just now. <laughs> okay. You don't have right. an appointment, but you um but yeah, I would recommend it. Just to um you have to make sure when you come, you don't um, have to wait for too long. Or, right. Yeah. And then with COVID and everything, not everybody wants to be in here with a bunch of other people. So, yes, do an appointment. True. You, True. Can make an, you can uh, message me directly to make an appointment. You can do it on the Facebook page. 
um, yeah, yeah, I have a, a calendar. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Yes, I think you have a calendar. Let me just change this. Um, this line is killing me. Yes, no. Well, and I see the calendar on the page again. It had a calendar up. Oh yes, look at on top. Sorry, I'm blind. There is a calendar. On her Facebook page, there is a calendar. She has one up. Yes, I found the calendar on the Facebook page. So you do have one. See, I'm not going to pay you. You can go to find her. She has a website as well. So you can find it as well. And now is the time to check on the website because I have my Black Friday sale, which anybody even knows me would be like, you have a Black Friday sale. But I had to give in to it because everybody's doing it. And it's like, well, yeah, so I'm having a Black Friday sale from um, tomorrow. You get 25% of everything online and everything mm -hmm. in the shop. You can order online and, and pay in store. Um, you could pay online and everything and do curbside pickup or you can have it delivered. We have options. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Let me for us. Okay, so I showed you this one just now. Yes. Mold it up. Another thing with, um, one thing about molded, a lot of people see these and think they're push up bras because they've been mm -hmm. wearing one that way. But if mm -hmm. you, a push up bra will have a thicker mm -hmm. bottom. Yes. Right? Yes. If you, if you top, if you run your fingers here and top to the bottom in the same thickness, it's just a mold in. This is the. Uh, okay. T shirt bra it gives you a nice smooth look according to what you're wearing. You wouldn't want the stitching to show through. So, if you want that right. smooth nice look, this is ideally what you'll want to wear, right? We have this one, which is a balconette. And hey, it's not black, beige, or boring. And this is an underwire bra. Now, some people don't like these because they feel that their nipples will show through and all that, um, which is <laughs> fine. You could get a nipple cover for that, as well as there's a little trick. You see where this T is here, where the stitching is? Mm -hmm. You put That's your cool. there, so it minimizes the protrusion of your nipple. Correct. Right. It has a matching fancy, so I mean, like, why not, right? If you're looking for a full coverage bra, you're thinking, oh, granny full coverage. No, it doesn't need to look like a granny full coverage bra. For instance, does this look like a full coverage bra to you? No, because nope. it's cute, right? But this is a full coverage bra, right? You have the T stitch in here, you have the lace mm -hmm. on top, which is adding to the full coverage, and then you have this cute little keyhole in the center here. So it's oh. much cute, it's fashionable, and it's a full coverage, but you're not gonna know it's a full coverage because of how it fits. So you don't feel like you're wearing something that your granny would wear. We have the plunge. Okay, this one is new, but again, it's not boring. It's not a straight plunge. If you look at the stitching, how it's cut here, it kinda comes, it doesn't do a straight V. It has a slight mm -hmm. bump in it as you take into consideration the boobage. And, you know, gives you a nice little look. I actually have this one on in, in, um, in, a, in blue. I love it. I would not show you. So I'm sorry. No. no. <laughs> Should have, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> also, we have swimwear, again from that Kirby. To your bra size. Can you imagine going on the beach in a bra in your size? Oh, think of the, that is how you ask the ultimate social distance in there, you know, you wear a proper swimwear in your bra. Like, nobody's going to want to stand next to you because they're going to be so intimidated. <laughs> it has to be you to say that, eh? Oh. When you have the boobs and you put them in the right equipped buns, you think anybody want to stand next to you? No, they're going to be like, oh no. I feel embarrassed. It's right here, a proper fitting bra. And then maracas waves have mm. this because you'll stay in place. You're not going to have any air accidental nippage showing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, no one does. Has this nice lace overlay. Again, to your bra size. These straps. Sure that this is a swimsuit, you're saying? The swimsuit. And it has a multi way strap. So you can um, have the different ways here that you could. Oops. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. See, so it's not just. You could take off this lace if you want more of an exposure. 
have this one again from Privy Kid because I love this one where it's alive. That's not that, that's not swimwear you're showing people. Oh, this that's is perfect. Oh, looking like a regular bra. What, what is it like? My oh. God, we have cute swimwear too. That's looking too cute for to go in the beach. And then you're like, okay, I don't like two pieces. I like to wear a whole piece. Again, curvy Kate, the adjustable straps. This one has mesh um, parts. Okay. Has a little okay. sexy even to the sides. Okay. To your bra size. Swimsuit could be underwear. Could be your backyard when you need a tan. Or maracas. <laughs> That is very sexy, eh? That's looking like a lingerie and not and a bad, yeah? What a lot of us have a problem with. Because small, medium, and large is not for everybody, especially. All right. All right. You. So you want swimwear that's going to fit you properly because that's going to give you so much confidence and all that. When you have on a right fitting bra, it not only lifts you up, but it holds you in. So you instantly lose weight. If you want to lose 10 pounds instantly, get a bra fitting. Because your clothes will fit you differently. Your boobs will be up and in and not down and out. And you know a lot of boobs in Trinidad are down and out. When them up and in. Yeah, when them up and in. Yeah, if your boobs look need to go to a mental health clinic to get some Prozac, you need to come to me. Because you don't want depressed boobies. You don't want that at all. That's, no. It's only you, you know. It's only you. It's only you. And with these um, women, um, a lot of people, yeah, because that's how it is to the tops. You don't have to mm -hmm. buy a suit. If you just want a top, that's fine. If you want to buy a top and a different bottom, that's fine. You mix and match mm -hmm. to your heart's okay. delight. Like, that's fine. Mm -hmm. you know, like, so you have, do you have hold top pieces in the bad suits as well? Well, when your boobs are a certain size hold, so it's not your friend. You tend to get a lot of pain and stuff by back hair. And that pressure puts in the back of your neck. Sometimes you get like a little blister in from your straps because you're tired so tight because you're like, oh God, Come. don't undo when a wave hit me. But you don't have to worry with the, about that with these because of the multi-way, you can just unhook and make it into a T-back or you can wear it. Okay. So that's all. Right. And that's how, how a lot of them, that's how a lot of them are, um, how they're making them, the adjustable backs. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And what about the wrap one you had the other day? Rhapsody? Oh! Yes! Yeah, she doesn't really mention me all her new stuff when she gets. So that's why I know some. Rhapsody. Everybody loves Rhapsody. So, I can't do it justice on this video, but this is Rhapsody. It's a whole piece. She also is available in two piece, but this is the whole piece version, mm -hmm. right? She has these two pieces of fabric, which you can wrap accordingly. You can make it into a, yeah, they're gonna get a little crazy. Woo! Don't make no mistake. <laughs> you can make her into a halter. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Your cold shoulder, you can wrap it around and do it like a skirt to the bottom. Um, you can, hmm, where is she? You can do this sort of thing, tie it in a knot, and make yourself some sleeves. So think of it as a multi purpose swimwear that people are not even going to realize you have on swimwear if you go into like a boat rut. Well, I'm bringing up things that are going to make people cry. A boat cruise, or you know, we can't go on those things anymore. <laughs> but this one is awesome, and they have. I don't know if I could show you. Okay, let me see if I can see it here. Can you? Can you? Can you? No, it, it's too white. It's going on too white. Okay, so it's a website for different ways we can wear this. This is okay. Cool. Yes, and her, web, her website is same, www.brazinga.com. Brazinga.com, yeah. And then it's Brazinga TT on Facebook, and we're also on Instagram. Any it's questions? Oh, I carry um, D to K cups. 
um, that's UK sizes. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that the US and the UK have different cup sizes. All right. So um, the US and the UK are the same after a double D. When the US refer to a triple D, the UK, that's a UK E. Right? Right. And, um, that's how you could tell the difference is that um, UK brands will be E, F, double F, G, double G, H. They double up on their letters. But right. um, e, the US don't. They will just go F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. The alphabet. <laughs> so it's, um, yeah. So it's important to know when you're buying a bra, if you're buying a US, what, what if the sizing is US or UK? Because if you go, like for instance, I wear a 32 double G. If I go to, if I go onto American site and, and get a G cup, for instance, it's not, it's going to mm -hmm. be covered with straps. It's not going okay. to be covered. Okay, but okay. I always make sure when customers come in, I give them their card, I let them know what their UK size is. Right, so there were no both. They both the US and the, and the UK. Huh? The smallest I carry is a G. What is the smallest? The brand I carry is a 28. Because there are people who are that small. A lot of people who are, um, well, I mean, look at me. Nobody's going to look at me and think I'm a 32. I walk into certain stores and they tell me, you know, just for kicks, I will go and say, oh, I want to get a fit in here. And they, they generally think I'm a 38. And I'm a 32. So okay. you know, that's a hell of a big difference. But yes, you have to realize it because of, they, they don't realize how bad things are with um, size in hair. So a lot of people, that's why they say 80% of people are wearing the wrong size bra because they're not putting you in the right thing. They're just putting you in whatever fits, whatever sells. Right, right. You need to be mindful of that. So that's why you should always, so like I was saying, you do the measurement, you figure out your band size, right? A lot of people mm -hmm. tend to talk about, okay, you measure down hair, let's measure up hair and do this subtraction. If you're wearing a really badly fitting bra, it's not going to, doing the two measurements is not going to get you anywhere because mm -hmm. it's going to give you another bad size. Um, but there are instances where it works, but it is better to look for certain signs of how the bra fits. Like I was telling you before, you want the center to be flat on your chest. Flat, flat. Make sure your entire breast tissue is within the, um, the bone of your bra. Um, you don't want the bone to be resting at all on any breast tissue. You should also be mindful as well when you're buying bras. Um, when you're in the dressing room, are you feeling where the bone hits hair on your chest and at the side of your arm? Always be mindful. Uh, is it feeling a slight, a slight irritation or anything like that? Because if you're feeling as you stop, what is going to feel like an hour after? Would you be Correct. saying for the salesperson? Correct. You might be Would you be thinking of committing homicide? Probably. So we try to avoid no. that. If you're not feeling it in the store, if you're feeling any irritation in the store, think of how it's going to feel like in an hour. After. Okay? Ideally, you want to have a bra fit that fits comfortably. You don't want to be thinking about your bra all day long. I always tell customers, the aim, we're aiming for the comfort level of your underwear. The only time you ever think of your panties is when it's going somewhere it shouldn't. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the only time you want to have the bra on is when we reach home, as we reach home it out. <laughs> And that's fine. You want to make sure it's during the day that you're not getting any pain and discomfort. You want to be completely sure. comfortable in your bra. You do, and mm -hmm. I always tell my customers when they come in here, when I do a fitting with you, as you would know, if I don't like how it fits, you yeah, ain't going out there with it. No, <laughs> at all. At all. Yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> we have one question in for fitting. Was it fitting course? And she said she was told. She's a 32D. Okay. Um, right now, fittings are free. Um, <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so you're a 32D. That's, you fall into my range because I can do it from 28 to 44 bands right. um, D to K cups. So you fall, you're my people. Um, do you feel comfortable in it? Do you just want to like, show them up in the line? Perfect. Or do you feel any kind of discomfort? Because a lot of people know, they, they subconsciously know they're not wearing the right size. They feel like something is wrong, but they don't know what and it they is. Can, they can't identify it. Yeah. Ooh. When you're buying a bra, let me get a different color. Blue one. Okay, you know the bra usually has 
clear three or four of these hooks in the back. Oh yes, now she told me that lesson. This is the only one you see. If you're going to a store and the salesperson tightens this up, tell them good day and walk out because they're just selling you something and they're not selling you something good. Because True. the key, the reason that you have multiple ones here is not so you can choose which one you walk in the store in. It's so when the bra starts to stretch, you have all this to tighten up. But if you buy a bra on the second or third hook, you shorten the life of your bra because in no time it's going to stretch out and you'll have no way to tighten it. As well as your straps. Again, secondary support. So when you're buying a bra, you want to be able to put two fingers under your straps comfortably. And right. you want to have this as loose as possible in the back. For the same reason, when it starts to stretch out, you have somewhere to tighten. But if you're buying a bra out of a store and it's all jacked up and you have no way to tighten, what's going to happen? You wear it twice and like, oh God, I buy a cheap bra. Now you're in the same room. I'm going to buy another one. Especially in these times. That is true. You don't have money to waste on that. No, no. Right? You have to make wise choices. <laughs> Only hook you see in, in the store. First, first man, first <laughs> band. Well, yeah, she taught me that. Yeah, she told me that she buffed me up. I got one buff when I put on my... She said, I'm not going to wait. I was like, okay, I don't know that. <laughs> it feels wrong when you have to come by me. You don't need it. We don't, we're not about feeling wrong, boss. Mm -mm. No. And she have sales, so hurry up and go buy her 25% off. Match it with me. <laughs> From the mailing list, you're going to be getting a little bit more. Oh, VIP people. Yes, yes. The VIP people. Sign up for the mailing list. <laughs> yes, we know because we see this. We see this here coming like mm, time to go with bras. <laughs> <laughs> and my prices are not too crazy because I keep. I try to keep my bras under. No, not I try. I keep my bras. I don't bring in any bras that are over five hundred dollars. Bras are too yeah. essential a thing for you to be paying five and six hundred dollars for one mm. and end up being able to buy one and you kill that one because that's the only one that fits. It is Correct. just like underwear. If people don't understand how important it is, it's important for your posture, it's important to your health, it's important to your self-confidence. And you know if your self-confidence is off, everything else goes off. It's like drinking out of black hair. It don't make any kind of sense. True. True, true. true. Granted, I true. don't drink it. No. Yeah, but we didn't, did, it, did you make the cocktail? You're supposed to have the cocktail today. Where's the cocktail? It's in the, it's in the, it's yes, she's making some wicked cocktail. Sweet, darling. We <laughs> bottled um, gluten free. Come yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on. Anybody have any questions? Yes, you, you'll, you'll tell us any questions you'll have before, before the people come and say time to come off. You know, they will just boot me out. <laughs> Ah, but I, I hope you all learned a lot of great stuff because as I told you, she lots of the stuff she mentioned here, she did tell me, she did educate me on it, especially that ban was one that making sure the bra lie down flat on your chest, another one. It's like, I didn't know these things. These things were never taught to you. You didn't learn this from your grandparents, nor your, your, your mother. Those were not things... They never thought, they, no. they didn't know. They were, they were actually, when they tell you stuff, you, you actually realize that they were taught the wrong things themselves. Because Correct. They tightening the band and jacking up your straps, and that's how it is. Correct. We, we, how it is. we were taught, we were taught yeah. that, so we would follow. And um, thanks to people, thanks to TV and Victoria's Secrets, a lot of people don't understand that boobs are not all small, medium, large. Boobs are all A, B, C, double B, triple D. So for Sophia, right. Sophia Vergara, everybody, mm -hmm. she's a triple D. She is a, she is, what is it, a 34 or a 36 F? Because she's a brand ambassador for one of my, one of my brands. Okay. Wow. An H. And you would not think that, eh? No, and everybody thinks, oh, it's a double D, triple D, whatever. Like Pamela Anderson, when she had her big boobs, she, she wasn't a double D. But they tell you, make you feel like all these girl women have these double Ds. And if you put them in a double true. D, they're going to be like, no, it's not going to fit them at all. True, true. I've had customers who come here, and when I tell them what size they're in, they think something is wrong with that them. That they're lying. Oh, <laughs> darling. You have yes, the best. Why? 
twice. <laughs> Don't worry, no, I was blessed twice, yes. That was me the first time. I was like, no, you sure that's right? And she said, yes, that's the right thing. I was like, no, that's like something wrong. <laughs> It's but true, it's true. My aim is to go in the right size for them to feel comfortable right. in the right size and for them to have to be empowered. So whenever they're brought up, in regardless if it's by me, online or anywhere else, they know what to look for and they always get the best fit for them. Because I hate to think that somebody out there is hating their body starting from their boobs. Because they're fat and they don't belong and they can't get rid of them and all this stuff. Because there's a lot Sorry. of bad information going out about boobs. And bras and how they're supposed to fit and all that and um, and it's just so simple. True. And so True. easy. Yes, it is. And she does it so nicely. I try. <laughs> yes, um, I, I, it's, it's very much appreciated because you, you see, you you take your time and what I like about you is that you take your time and you explain. So what you did not know or we were unaware about, you explain and you make sure you learn. Simple as how to wash it, how to take care of it using the, the right band to put it on. These are simple things she just educated and say about it. I was like, I didn't know that. All right, let me go back and confirm what she says, right? You know, that's me, that's research, a part of me. But I say, okay, but she's telling everything that is there. But how come the older generation didn't know these things? Again, something they didn't know. So it's nice that people like this are wrong now. Educating us and helping us. Oh, and uh, to say that, um, I, I just thought of something else. A lot of people think because their boobs are a certain size, they are plus size. And it's not necessarily Correct. the case. You have regular people who would wear regular band sizes, uh, the A, B, C, D, right? And fall within, say, a 32 to a 36 or 38. Then you have people like me. I'm full of busted, which means I have a small frame and big boobs. But I am not plus size. I just have big boobs, right? And then you have the plus size, which are people who are plus size who have big boobs. And even in the plus size, they mm -hmm. are stuff that are full of busted because their boobs are much bigger than their frame. Correct. So a lot of I've seen a lot of people, small people, wearing um, going wearing brands like Bali, which are plus size brands, which are not meant for them. Mm hmm. And they, it's just because they don't know. There are brands out there that make stuff for your boobs. And they go beyond a D cup and they're cute and they're not brand new looking. Yes, and I can testify that. Mm -hmm. It brings fun colors in the bras. Really fun colors. <laughs> boobs are too much fun, I tell, keep telling you. It can't be black, beige, and boring. No, not these. Not these. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anybody have any other questions or any other concerns? Or we, you, you will definitely be getting a, a visit from somebody. <laughs> somebody needs to. They asked if it could cause breast cancer. It's when you wrong bra, I am assuming maybe when you wrong bra could cause breast cancer or improper uh, improper sizing. Um, I am not a medical doctor, full disclosure. I cannot confirm or deny, but I know that the having anything press on anything is not supposed to for any length of time is not good. Um, it could, I guess it could cause a cyst or something, but um, it's just not right because it's pulling on your tissue and not you. Because okay. when people have it on their breast tissue, they tend to have scarring and... Um, right. You know, it's just, it's just not cool. You just don't want any bruising or anything happening from a bra. A bra should be, it should be fun. It shouldn't be, yeah, it shouldn't be something that's going to cause you pain and suffering if you're getting bruising. You know, some people have discoloration. Mm -hmm. Any skin and they depress. And that's because mm -hmm. you're wearing the wrong size bra. The friction, it, um, the friction and the sweat and it rubbing causes all of that. Mm -hmm. You spend money, you go to a dermatologist to give you a cream. They never tell you okay. the bra size. Because they must either know or they don't feel to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know or they don't feel to tell you. Which one? <laughs> Maybe they don't know. <laughs> because that's something that well, we could assume they don't know. So they don't really think of it. Don't think of it as being the bra, the wrong yeah. bra. They see. Exactly. Good, good, good. good. 
Any other questions? If it was the thing before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so when you have one, um, when you have one, Anthony. <laughs> remember these, um, where did I put them? These strapless panties. <laughs> There's a male version. <laughs> Yeah. So if you're interested in Anthony, the male version, because men but, don't have auntie lines either, right? But Anthony, you don't have a mommy or auntie, you could still, um, you might not have a female as a significant other, but you must have a mommy or you auntie. Give certificate, give certificates rock. Yes, or granny. <laughs> Anthony, you sound like a man that is curious and would like to try <laughs> And this don't make me mischief. No, 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 Anthony. We're not about wearing it for other people. We wear it for ourselves. It's for them to feel good. Yeah, if you don't feel good, you know, you don't buy, you don't, you're not supposed to buy these things for other people. You buy it for you, know, Anthony. For you. When you get the and you put on your clothes, you say, yes, I look good. Or you watch yourself in the mirror, you feel good. Yeah, when you feel good on the outs inside, anybody can do anything to you? No. You'd be like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. You make it you make you must you're making Anthony think me mad. Oh, I think I'm gonna see Anthony tomorrow. Yeah, I feel so. He would definitely come for he would come for some gifts to give us for mommy and auntie and whoever else. He come in, come in for gifts to the kids. And so and then they get the free fitting, so it's a win-win. Correct. -win. Free fitting, 25% off. Black Friday special. Everything. What more you want? It's 5 percent of everything in Trinidad. Yeah. Of course Thank we are you. cool. You're you right. I'm, so Anthony, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. No, that's okay. I have a 20 <laughs> question. Thank you very much. I'm glad. I am very much happy that you are enjoying this life. At least we know we imparted some lovely knowledge to you. No, that's the aim. Yes, it does. So as we get ready to tie up, because I know she must be have exciting things to go do, and she don't want to tell me, although she didn't bring no um, cocktail drinks. Don't worry, I have to pass to get my cocktail drink. Eh? Oh, you'll get the... um. December 5th is International Cookie Day. We're going to be having a little cookie something. Oh, oh my goodness. Boobalicious cookies? Boobalicious cookies? Okay, all right. You want okay. me to know cookies? I don't understand. I have a cookie cutter. Hello? I've been trying okay. to it for a while. All right, well, boobalicious cookies. Make sure you put some nice chocolate. Make sure you have a chocolate chip one, eh? Actually, that, that's what I was going to say. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. But yeah, I, I'm, that we can have something. Of course, socially responsible and all, so it will be like small groups. All right, good, 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 good. I'll definitely make some past. I don't want oh. to be uh, coming here, Gary. I mean, the barracks is right there. I don't know about yes, I, I don't. We, we will look. <laughs> no, and it wouldn't look good in that color either. <laughs> oh God, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. No, we don't want that. <laughs> Prison break. It'll wash me out. Yes, <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so you're. Good. Do not forget to go and check out the special. Remember to go on her website, find her on her Facebook, find her on Instagram. Remember to go friend. on her, her mailing list. Don't forget to get on the mailing list so you'll get all the juicy stuff when things are on sale and when she has any new things and when she brings any new stuff. And get on. Discounts and you get better discounts. Yes, we get nicer discounts. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Single squad forever. <laughs> So you'll make sure to get in, go get your gift cards, and do enjoy all the specials that she's having for this good 
Black Friday because you know tomorrow is officially Thanksgiving Day and foreign and Black Friday is Friday coming. Then what does what we have after that? Then the following Monday, so the Cyber Monday. So if there's enough steel time. Yes. Then again. You And then again, you see, internet must behave naughty. I'm seeing her buffering. Right, just in case she does not come back, let me remind you all. Yes, go on pass. Okay, she really good. Okay, so let me remind you all, so don't forget to find her on Facebook. You can go on her website at www.brestinga.com. She's in St. James and Lock, Lucknow Street, number two Lucknow Street. Um, she has sale from the 20, 25% sale on, so you also get it on. Don't forget to, when you go on her website, you can um, be part of her mailing list as well. And go and have fun, enjoy the sale. And she has another something special coming up December the 5th. So do enjoy it and thank you all for all coming in, all who will listen to the replay. Thank you again for listening and thank you so much, Anthony, for all the questions. Yes, go and get your gift card and make sure you get something nice for your mom or your aunt and do your have a great day.